Today we baptize four people into the name that invokes all authority and in heaven and on earth. And even this powerful and prophetic act, this is a substantiating symbolic command from a truly repentant and believing heart. Baptism is the declaration of dying to slavery, to sin, and to the world, and raising up out of the water symbolically, and yes, prophetically, because you're walking into a new life. And it's showing that resurrection power and the authority to walk in freedom. So before we even get started this morning, let's, uh, let's pray over these four. Would you pray? Would you bow your heads? Believers, stretch out your hands. Thank you. Let's pray over these. God, Father, thank you, Lord. We pray right now, God, for this to be more than an event or a marking on the calendar, Lord. We pray for your anointing, God, that as they in their hearts are believing and expressing and confessing, going into the water, Father, as you yourself did, Jesus, as you paved the way for us to do, that they would come out of that water with a, a new change, a new anointing, a new spirit-filled power to walk in your authority and your freedom. In Jesus' name, bless these baptism candidates, God. They're candidates for your glory this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, let's start. Um, let's see. Scott Bailey, come on up. I'll come around. How, which way do you want him? Which way do you want him? waiting for the camera woman. Sorry. It's okay. All right. Scott Bailey. Um, today, you're making a profession publicly, and the profession is this. I'm going to ask you questions, and you just re respond with I do. That's all. Do you believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God? I do. Do you accept him as your Lord and Savior? I do. Do you repent and turn from your old way of life and profess by this baptism of entering into a new way of life? Absolutely, I do. Then he's ready to be baptized, folks. Go ahead and get under Jesus. next Justina thank you guys we're, we're in case you don't know we're Pentecostal and charismatic so we're kind of spontaneous so if it doesn't look like we're well planned we're just we're just going with it this is a special young lady some of you know her from back in the day yeah Justina, 
Do you believe Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, Son of God? I do. Do you fully accept him as your Messiah? Yes, I do. Do you today profess and proclaim that you've repented from your old way of life and you're walking in the newness promised to you in the gospel? Yes, I do. Then you're ready. What do you think John the Baptist was doing in those dirty rivers? He was just, people just coming, he was like, bam, bam, bam. So there wasn't a lot of this formality, but we're excited today when young people are getting baptized. So this one I'll do a little bit different. Addie, why do you, why do you want to be baptized? Um, to be closer to Jesus. And you believe he's your Lord and Savior? Yes. You've accepted into your heart? Yes. And you fully repent from your short but old life? Yes. Okay, then you're ready. Jen, I won't try to pronounce her last name because I'm not going to get it right. No, Gustafsson. It's Swedish. Where's your hubby? This is Jen's husband, Brad. All right. Well, do you have to be a do you have to be a priest to baptize people? No. Thanks, guys. Just checking, making sure you're. So we do that traditionally, but a believer in Jesus Christ can baptize. Um. What a blessed couple this is, and it's an honor to have them in our church. We've seen restoration. We've seen healing and um, forgiveness operating in their lives and in their marriage. And they are a testimony for God's glory. So I'll ask you this morning, Jen, do you, oh, you're supposed to cry when the Holy Spirit comes, yeah. Um, do you accept Jesus Christ? Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Do you repent from your old way of life and accept the healing from all your past hurts? Yes. And do you walk in the newness of life and by this baptism, walk in repentance. Yes. Okay, you're ready.
I'm going to give you an opportunity. It's, it's rarely happened because nobody wants to get wet. You want to be baptized right here and now. You want to publicly declare Jesus as Lord and Savior, go under the water and come back up. Come on. You can, we'll give you clothes. Anybody coming? If you're not running up here, I'm going to close. Wait. You're doing it? Okay. Oh, we got somebody else too. Okay. Okay, keep playing. What's your name, sister? Shauna. Shauna, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? No. You haven't? Okay. Do you understand that you have to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior to be saved? Do you want to make that decision today? Yes. Okay. You understand that he died for your sins and he rose to life? Okay. Um, I'm going to take you through a, a prayer, okay, this morning. So... This is what happened, folks. This is, this is the early church. People would, the Holy Spirit would come, touch people's hearts while they're getting baptized, and they'll be like, yeah, I want to give my life to Jesus. And that's how it happened. So don't let your religion get the best of you and say they need to go to a baptism class or they need to be schooled in how to be saved when Jesus paid it all that we can get saved right now and be baptized right here and there. Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior? I know you have. You know you have. You repent from your old way of life, and you understand going under and coming up symbolizes you being made new. You're making a public declaration before all these people. Okay, you're ready. Put your left hand on your nose and your right hand on that wrist. And Dad, come on. Hand on the back, right up here. Joshua, in the name of Jesus Christ, we bow. Anybody else? Hey, Jackie. This is for me. 
Okay, that's all. That's good enough. I know you believe, so. Very strong. Yeah. Jackie, do uh, you believe Jesus is the Son of God? Absolutely. Your Savior and Messiah? Absolutely. And today you are being baptized to publicly proclaim him as Lord and repent from your old life? Absolutely. Okay, you're ready. Lori, now you, you have to tell me, you have to tell me why, you're my good friend, so yeah. Okay, so I was baptized as a baby, right? My daddy baptized me. And so it was really important to me that that baptism, I didn't remember it, but um, it's time. It's time to uh, be baptized the, um, by immersion. Okay, yeah, so there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that, all right, all right, come on in. Anybody else? We got more. Jesus, Lord of your life. Okay. Just repeat after me. Lord Jesus, Lord, I, give you my heart. I give you my heart. I repent of my sins. I repent of my sins. Be Lord of my life. Be Lord of my life. From this day forward. From this, this day forward. Amen. 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 Take your left hand and put it on your nose. And then your right hand on your wrist. Mm -hmm. And your dad and I are going to baptize you. Okay? Brandon, it is our honor to baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the sense of praise for you. Should have just had the whole family come up and do them all together. Anybody else? <laughs> uh, anybody else? We'll, we'll let you guys talk to your parents and catch the next one. So, anybody else before we close this out? I'll, I'll linger for like 20 more seconds. There always is. There's somebody who's supposed to be up here and they're not coming, so. It's okay. All right. 
Would you stand with me this morning? Come on. Come on. Come on. God is still moving. We've seen people literally give their lives to Jesus and be baptized this morning. God is still moving. All is not lost. God has a plan and purpose. Let's pray this morning. Father, we pray right now, God, for these new decisions and old decisions, Lord. Even those of us who have already made decisions, God, that you would stir our hearts, that you would bless your people, God, your bride, who you promised to be adorned with beauty and ready for your coming, Lord. You're preparing us for glory, Lord. But in the meantime, we represent your glory here. Help us to be a free people who are walking in freedom and authority in Jesus' name. And all God's people said, amen. Amen. Have a good day. Thank you for joining us.